In this video, I'm going to go ahead and continue the series on exact values for trig functions, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the sine of 81 degrees. And so we're going to go ahead and find the exact value for the sine of 81 degrees by using this sum identity for sine. And it says the sine of, and we have these two angles, A and B, and we're going to add them together, and it has this expansion. It's the sine of A, that first angle, times the cosine of B, that second angle, plus the sine of B times the cosine of A. And of course, you'll notice up here we've got a couple of uh, extra values of sine of 36 degrees and 54 degrees that we're going to employ in this process. And uh, these two values were found from scratch in previous videos. So you can go ahead and find the link for these two videos down below in the description for this video. And these are uh, probably pretty interesting to watch uh, because this works from scratch and finds the roots of the polynomial equations and goes ahead and finds these values. Okay, so A and B. So we need a couple of angles that are nice to work with that add up to 81 degrees. And so for our sign, in this case, let's go ahead and use 36 degrees and 45 degrees. Those are nice values to work with, and also 36 plus 45, yeah, makes 81 degrees. So this expansion here will be the sine of 36 degrees times the cosine of 45 degrees plus the sine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 36 degrees. Well, okay. So the sine of 36 we have just right up here. So that's going to be the square root of 2 over 4 multiplied by this radical expression. I'm going to multiply that by the cosine of 45 degrees, which is just the square root of 2 over 2. And to that we'll add the sine of 45, which similarly is the square root of 2 over 2, times the cosine of 36 degrees. Well, the cosine of 36 degrees, we don't really necessarily know what that is, but we know that sine and cosine have a great relationship with one another, where the cosine of one angle here, in our case 36 degrees, and the sine of the complement of this angle will have the same values. So the complement of 36 degrees is 54 degrees, because, you know, 36 plus 54 adds up to 90. So the sine of 54 and the cosine of 36 will have the exact same values. And I just am going to go ahead and make this exchange with sine because these are the videos I have worked out explicitly already. So the sine of 54 degrees, I can go ahead and substitute in for the cosine of 36. Okay, and it'll be that guy right there. So here is our expression. It just uh, Let's take a moment and kind of clean it up a little bit. So we have the square root of 2 over 2 and the square root of 2 over 4. So it looks like the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 will make a real 2, which will then cancel with the 2 down here. So it looks like 1 fourth times this radical expression plus, it looks like we can go ahead and multiply these two outright. So the square root of 2 over 8, and then that's going to be multiplied by that square root of 5 plus 1. So we're saying then that here is our exact value for the sine of 81 degrees. And we went ahead and employed these other two values and used a sum identity for sine to find that value. Let's go ahead and grab a calculator and just make sure that, uh, you know, this works. So here's our calculator here. So let's go ahead and do the inverse sine, and we'll go ahead and throw this expression in and see if it gives us our 81 degrees. So we'll start with our 1 fourth, and we'll multiply that by 5 minus the square root of 5, and that's inside that radical. To that we'll add, and it looks like we have the square root of 2 divided by 8, and we're going to multiply that by the square root of 5 plus 1. Close off all those parentheses, and yeah, 81 degrees. Very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this back down again. So now we have found the exact value for the sine of 81 degrees, and we did so by using the sum identity for sine here and this expansion. And there were a couple of values we had to employ here, and again, these were found from previous uh, videos by working them out from scratch. You can find those links down below in the description for this video. But here you go, the sine of 81 degrees.